The church today is in deep trouble, really deep trouble. Studies have been done over the last eight to ten years that people are not experiencing transformation in our churches. In fact, only 1% of church leaders say that the church is doing very well at discipling new and young believers. In fact, participation in discipleship activities in churches is as low as 20%. It's that weak. And the broader culture is changing so rapidly in terms of opposition to the values of Scripture that we have got a crisis that we're in and that we're headed for with our next generation. Divorce rates are just as high among Christians as among other groups. In fact, the state of marriages among Christians is the same as those who don't know Christ. Only one of four Christians in the United States actually study the Bible to find God's will for their lives. Most Christians today are in a spiritual coma. In fact, they're stuck at a wall in their relationship with Christ, and they don't even know it. The two most significant reasons this is, is one, people are very busy. They are, they are really busy. And secondly is they don't have a commitment to actually get discipled. And so a new program or a quick fix is not going to turn around this reality. I experienced the magnitude of this problem 29 years ago when I planted New Life Fellowship Church in Queens, New York City, realizing that if we were going to penetrate this difficult urban environment, people would need to be deeply changed by Christ. This led me on a journey that we now call Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, or EHS. It is one powerful answer to this enormous challenge before us. And really, there's two primary components of EHS. One is that emotional health and spiritual maturity are inseparable, that it's not possible to be spiritually mature while remaining emotionally immature. And then secondly is that we must slow down to cultivate our being with Jesus. And that slowing down is indispensable in our world today. These two things together, emotional health and a slow down relationship to be with Jesus, are revolutionary and transformational. Now, most churches do discipleship in what I call the traditional way. People meet Jesus, they attend church, they get connected, they serve, they give, and then they make a a bit of an impact in the world. But I'm about transformational discipleship. That is that people meet Jesus. They attend church, but then they do what we call deep beneath the surface or deep beneath the iceberg transformation in their lives. And then the impact in the world is much larger and more sustainable long term. Now, over these decades, we have developed something that we call the Emotionally Healthy Spirituality Course or the EHS course. It's an eight-week course that lays a foundation for this deep beneath the surface change that we're calling people to in Christ. It gets deep beneath the iceberg and introduces people to a paradigm that can sustain them long-term in following Christ. It touches themes like journeying through the wall, knowing yourself that you might know God, enlarging your soul through grief and loss, discovering the rhythms of what we call daily offices and Sabbaths and and, uh, cultivating a life where Jesus is at the center. And so it introduces some life-changing concepts as foundations out of which the church can build a long-term discipleship in people's lives. And this course is not meant to be just done once or even in small groups at this point. It's a centralized, high-quality course with a small group experience at tables. I'm not saying it's the only way to disciple people, but it is one proven way that has enabled tens of thousands of people to break through in their walk with Christ. I want to invite you to do the EHS course in your church. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. We're talking about a radical way of doing church. That is calling people to discipleship to Jesus. Let it transform not only yourself and your leadership, but transform your people and become the foundation for every participant in your church of what it means to be a fully devoted follower of Christ. So I want to challenge you to lead your people through this eight-week course, and you will find that God will meet you, and God will meet your church in ways that you never dreamed, and we'll build a church that will impact the world, and not just in our generation, but for the generations that will follow.